University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello. Three of the eight places in this year's quarterfinals have now been filled, and tonight, two more teams return to compete for the fourth. The safety net of the losers' playoffs has been removed, so they must win if they're to remain in the competition. Now, anyone would think that the team from Bristol didn't want to qualify for the second round based on their performances so far. In their first match, they let Durham University overtake them at the last minute, and in their subsequent losers' playoff, they incurred three five-point penalties within the first few questions. After that, however, they came back strongly, answering well on Caribbean flags, Greek letters and short novels. Playing again on behalf of 27,000 students with an average age of 21, let's meet the Bristol team for the third time. Hi, my name's Sam Keeler. I'm from Wolverhampton in the Black Country and I'm studying medicine. Hi, I'm Jacob McLaughlin. I'm originally from Gloucester and I'm studying economics and maths. This is their captain. Hi, I'm Tess Richardson. I'm from Reading and I'm studying chemistry. Hi, I'm Alejandro Ortega. I'm from Chapman St. Peter in Buckinghamshire and I'm studying physics and philosophy. In their first round match, the team from Queen's Belfast came from 50 points behind to finish 60 points ahead of a team from the University of Glasgow. They floundered on physics and literature, but made quick work of sets on pomegranates and Catherine the Great. Observant viewers may note that since then, Mr McInerney has been replaced by Mr Donnelly, who missed the team's first match through illness with an average age of 23 and representing around 25,000 students. Let's meet the team from Queen's University, Belfast. Hello, my name is Michael Sharry. I'm from Dublin and I'm studying for a PhD in politics. Hi, my name is Oliver Donnelly. I'm from Belfast and I'm studying a PhD in international politics concerning the use of video games by the US military in propaganda, training and recruitment. And their captain? Hi, my name's Courtney Campbell. I'm from Corian in County Derry, Londonderry, and I'm studying politics. Hi, I'm Luke Duffy. I'm from Belfast and I'm studying business economics. Well, the rules are the same as ever, so let's just crack on with it, shall we? Fingers on the buzzers. Here's your first starter for ten. What academic discipline is this? In Romeo and Juliet, Friar Lawrence describes it as adversity's sweet milk. Dennis Diderot said that the first step towards it is incredulity, while Wittgenstein called it... Bristol or Taker? Philosophy. Philosophy is correct. <laughs> the first set of bonuses go to you, then. They're on poems in the Love's Beginnings section of the nation's favourite love poems. In each case, identify the poet from the first two lines of one of their well-known works. This poet, born 1572, drink to me only with thine That's eyes, and I will pledge with mine. Or leave a kiss but in the cup, and I'll not look for wine. Ben Johnson. Yeah, I'm not familiar with it, but that's the right time, so... Yeah. Do you think so? Johnson, yeah. yeah. Ben Johnson? Ben Johnson is nice. correct. This poet, born 1591, a sweet disorder in the dress kindles in clothes a wantonness. Is this <sighs> done, maybe? I would... Uh, yeah. yeah. The right time for done. Maybe, What's yeah. 1591? I, mm. I was thinking done, so... Yeah, yeah go for it. Done? No, it's Robert Herrick. Uh -huh. This poet, born 1621, had we but world enough and time, this coyness lady were no crime. That's um, Andrew Marvell, right? Yeah. OK, Andrew Marvell. It is Marvell, his, to his coy mistress. <laughs> so, ten points for this starter question. About half the size of the Isle of Man, with a population of around 10,000, Ferro, or El Hierro, is the second smallest island of what archipelago? It was once regarded as the westernmost edge of the European world. Queen Sherry. The Azores. No. Bristol Richardson. Um, the Canaries. The Canaries is correct, yes. <laughs> These bonuses are on distances in space. If Mars to Jupiter is 3.68 units, how many units is Earth to Sun? So... Mars? One. Is it astronomical units? Yeah. So Seems just reasonable. One. Yeah. yeah, OK. One. One is correct. 
To the nearest 10,000, how many astronomical units are there in one light year? This number is close to the number of inches in a mile. Uh, so the number of inches in a mile is about 5,000 something? Five, know, two, it's eight two? light minutes to the sun, so that's one. I don't know. Uh, uh, I think it's five. Do so they say 10,000 or thousands? To the nearest 10,000, I think. Oh, mm, in which case I've got no idea. 50,000? Say 50,000. Yeah. yeah. 50,000? No, it's 60,000. Okay. Imagine models of the Earth and Sun one metre apart on the square of Old Trafford Cricket Ground. Using this scale, one light year will be close to the distance to what other test cricket venue? A little less than 62 kilometres northeast. What was the first one? Old Trafford? 62 northeast. So, Headingley, probably? Okay, sure. Headingley. Yeah. Headingley? Headingley is correct. Okay. Well done. <laughs> what is the surname of the two brothers, Jan and Nicholas, who respectively won the inaugural Nobel Prize in Economics in 1969 with Ragnar Frisch and the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1973 with Conrad Lorenz and Carl von Frisch? Bristol McLaughlin. Tinbergen. Tinbergen is correct. Well done. <laughs> These bonuses are on linguistics. Compiled from lecture notes after his death in 1913, which Swiss academic's course in general linguistics yeah. is credited with founding modern linguistic theory? It's called Saussure. Yeah. Nominate McLaughlin. Saussure. Saussure is correct. Saussure contrasted a synchronic view of language, that is, language as it exists at any particular time, with what approach referring to language as it changes over time? Uh, Dynamism? I, I want to say diachronic. Yeah, I, I like that. That's yeah. a word. Yeah. yeah. yeah okay. Diachronic. Diachronic nice. is correct. In another well-known pairing, Saussure contrasted what he called long, the system that underlies speech activity, with what term meaning the speech of an individual person. It's uh, nominate me for it. It's parole. But... Okay. Uh, nominate McLaughlin. Parole. Parole is correct. <laughs> We're going to take a picture around now. You're going to see a bookshelf containing books written wholly or in part by a president of the United States. Ten points if you can name the president. Queen Stuffy. JFK. JFK is correct. <laughs> Janet Kennedy. Following on from those books by President Kennedy, to your picture bonus is three more bookshelves containing works written by other presidents of the United States. Five points for each president you can identify. Firstly... Okay, what do we well, think? If it's, I would, uh, if it's a summary view of the rights of British... I think, is that Jefferson? Jefferson, if it's Virginia, Yeah, probably. Jefferson makes sense. This is yeah. early. Um, Jefferson? It is Jefferson, yes. Secondly... The Antitrust Act. That's Supreme Court, good. Supreme Court. Actually, um, I'd probably go Taft. Well, well Taft was on the yeah, Supreme yeah, Court, yeah. Taft. Taft is correct. And finally... 1812. Oh, that's, um, that's, that's Theodore Roosevelt. Theodore Roosevelt, Roosevelt. Yeah. Um, Teddy Roosevelt. Teddy Roosevelt is correct. Ten points for this. Meanings of what word include in mathematics a set in which each pair of elements has an infimum and a supremum? In chemistry, a regular arrangement of atoms such as that found in a crystal and it... Crystal or taker? Lattice. Lattice, correct. <laughs> right, you get a set of bonuses on the artist Vanessa Bell. Bell's 1912 painting Studland Beach depicts a scene on the Isle of Purbeck in which English county? Ooh, I'm not familiar with that. Yeah. Somewhere at the coast, so... Lincolnshire comes up a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Do we, we don't know. Well, Could be like Cornwall, Cornwall Just guess Cornwall. Yeah. It probably makes more sense, right? OK. Yeah. Cornwall? No, it's Dorset. Yeah. OK. Bell's Studland Beach and her abstract painting of 1914 are works influenced by what artistic movement? Its name appears in the title of a 1910 exhibition organised by Roger Fry. Um, imp no, so, so post-impressionism, because Roger okay. Fry coined the term post-impressionism. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So post yeah. yeah. Um, post-impressionism. Correct. Swirling waves and radiating beams appear on Bell's design for the cover of which novel by her sister Virginia Woolf? Probably The Waves is a novel by Woolf. Yeah. And yeah. It went, it yeah. Like a more famous. He said waves in the question. I don't. Oh, did he? Maybe not. Um, uh, could be Jacob's room. Like or the, the lighthouse to the lighthouse. Oh, to the lighthouse. That makes more sense. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 To the lighthouse. To so the lighthouse is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. Often referred to as the first lady of American cinema, which actress's first film appearance? Bristol McLaughlin. Pickford. 
No, I'm afraid you lose five points. Was in a silent movie in 1912 and her last in 1987 in Lindsay Anderson's The Whales of August. She also appeared in Intolerance, The Night of the Hunter and Crime and Punishment. Uh, Queen's Campbell. Doris Day. No, it's Lillian Gish. Ten points for this starter question. What term refers to music in two or more parts, each having a melody of its own and is now widely used in its sense of an instrument capable of producing more than one note at a time in relation to the ringtones of mobile phones? Bristol Richardson. Polyphonic. Polyphonic is correct. <laughs> right, these bonuses are on chemistry. From the Latin for to bind, what general name is given to an atom or molecule usually containing an electron donor that forms a bond with a central atom the in ligand, a yeah. coordination yeah. complex? Ligand. Ligand is correct. Often written as a prefix with the Greek letter eta, what term is used for the number of atoms of a ligand that directly bond to the metal center of an organometallic compound? This is denticity, right? Like yeah, so, yeah, so denticity. denticity, I think, is what okay. we want. Denticity? No, it's hapticity. Oh. What number appears in the rule of thumb for low oxidation state organometallic complexes containing D block elements? It refers to the number of electrons comprising a complete valence shell of the metal centre. So, a complete shell of the centre. So, is it. So, two? if it's a complete D, D shell, it would yeah. be 10. OK. But um, unless it's like 8, like the octet rule, I don't. Ooh. Yeah, should we go like octet, yeah, octet so, rule? Yeah, 8 makes sense. It's not D. Yeah. If it's D, it's ten. I don't... Go, go with what you initially thought. I think. You think eight? Okay, eight. No, it's eighteen. Right. Oh. Ten points for this. Established in 1957 with its headquarters in Vienna, the intergovernmental organization known as the IAEA seeks ah. to promote Queen Sherry nuclear power. That's correct. Yes. Three questions on film and television scores by Trent Reznor and At Atticus Ross for your bonuses. The 2020 film Mank was a collaboration between Reznor, Ross and which film director? They also collaborated on The Social Network, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo and Gone Girl. So The Social Network is... I thought it was written by Aaron Sorkin, but I don't know who directed it. Um, what do you want to say? It probably is just Sorkin. Do you want to go for it? Yeah. I am um, nominate Donnelly. Not me. Oh, uh, Aaron Sorkin? No, it's David Fincher. In the same year, Reznor and Ross worked with the jazz artist Jean Baptiste to score which film by Pixar? Starring Jamie Foxx as the pianist Joe Gardner, it won the Academy Award for Best Original Score as well as Best Animated Feature. Soul. 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 Soul is correct. In 2017, Reznor and Ross scored a 10-part documentary series on the Vietnam War, directed by Lynn Novick and which US filmmaker? His other works include long-form series on jazz, baseball and country Ken, music. Ken Burns. Ken Burns. Ken Burns. Uh, Ken, Burns. Ken Burns is correct. <laughs> Another son question now. Born 1854 and described on an antiques programme as a really desirable, very hot name, William Benson was a noted designer of household metalwork especially lamps, in what distinctive style inspired by the works and philosophy of William Morris? Bristol McLaughlin. Arts and Crafts. Arts and Crafts is correct. <laughs> you get three bonuses on English history. What name is generally given to the area of England comprising Northumbria, East Anglia and the region known as the Five Boroughs that was under Viking control during much of the 9th Dane. and 10th centuries? Is it Dane Law? Dane Law, yeah. I think Dane Law. Dane Law is right, yeah. Yeah. Dane Law. Dane Law is correct. Meaning farm or town, what two letter suffix is shared by many place names in the former Dane Law region, including a city on the River Derwent and a seaport on the Lincolnshire coast? Lincoln. Um, BY, maybe? B like Grimsby and Whitby. Whitby yeah. So yeah. BY? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. BY? It's correct. Which Anglo Saxon king made the treaty with the Viking leader Guthrum that settled the boundaries of the Dane Law region? Alfred. It's Alfred the Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Alfred the Great. Alfred the Great is correct. Well done. <laughs> right, we're going to take a music round now. For your music starter, you'll hear a piece of 21st century popular music. Ten points if you can name the artist.
Bristol Keeler. Is it Grimes? No, anybody want to bounce from Queens? Uh, Queens Donnelly. Olivia Rodrigo? No, it's Joanna Newsom. So, music business is in a moment or two, ten points at stake for this. The preparation known as calamine lotion takes its name from an ore of what metal? The same metal is used in processes such as sheridizing and galvanizing. Bristol McLaughlin. Zinc. Zinc is correct. <laughs> we just heard Emily from Joanna Newsom's album Ease. Her music is often categorized as psychedelic folk. Your music bonuses are three earlier examples of popular music influenced by psychedelia and folk music. Five points for each artist you can name. Firstly, this band. Uh, is it, it's not the Beach Boys, that's not stupid, is it? I would go, the Beach Boys did, were yeah. influenced by psychedelic. I think it, it sounds like the Beach Boys, no? Yeah. We we'll kick ourselves. Beach Boys, yeah, it's, it. it's probably wrong. Yeah. Beach Boys? No, it isn't, it's the Birds. Uh -huh. Secondly, this solo artist. Joni Mitchell's been was, through a lot of questions. I was, was going to say that just... She comes up sometimes? Yeah. I was thinking Kate Bush, but I don't think it is. No, it's... Oh, well, I'm pretty sure it's not, but yeah, I, 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 think, don't, I don't think it is either. I, reckon, I think I'd recognise it. Yeah. I'd say Joni Mitchell. Yeah, yeah. Joni Mitchell. Yeah. yeah. Joni Mitchell. No, that's Linda Perhax. And finally, this psychedelic rock band. <laughs> oh. I mean, I've heard it before, but I don't know it. Florence and Machine? No. <laughs> it's not Florence and Machine, is it? <laughs> I think it's like older. I recognise the voice. Oh, I do know. Oh, is it a woman? Yeah. yeah, I think. I don't know. Uh, I can't think of it. No. 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 Um, pass. That's Jefferson Airplane, their white rabbit. Ten points for this. The fourfold root of the principle of sufficient reason is an 18... Bristol McLaughlin. Schopenhauer. Schopenhauer is correct. <laughs> Three questions on a bird for your bonuses. What name is given to members of the large bird family noted for brood parasitism and egg mimicry? Okay. Yeah. The common species is migratory and is traditionally said to arrive in Britain on St Tibertius' day, April the 14th. I, I have nothing, it's, so yeah. Yeah, it's, it's parasitic. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah. Cuckoo? Cuckoo is correct. Nice. Who published a series of observations about the habits of the cuckoo in the 1780s, shortly before he was elected to the Royal Society? He's perhaps better known for his later work in vaccinology. So it's going to be Jenna. 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 Yeah, he's around 17. Yeah. 17 yeah. Vaccines. Vaccines, yeah. yeah. So, OK, Edward Jenner? Edward Jenner is correct. And finally, the derivation of the expression cloud cuckoo land is attributed to an imaginary city in a play by which ancient dramatist? Yeah, it's Aristophanes. Yeah, OK. Aristophanes. Aristophanes is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. Belonging to the Chadic group of the Afro-Asiatic language family, which major lingua franca of West Central Africa has at least 40 million ah. speakers? Queen Sherry. Swahili. No, I'm afraid you lose five points. Many of them in Nigeria. Bristol Keeler. Yoruba? No, it's Hauser. Right, ten points for this. Responding to being called the English Philip Roth, which author said he preferred to think of himself as the Jewish Jane Austen? In 2010, he won the Man Booker Prize for his ah. novel... Queen Sherry. Howard Jacobson. Howard Jacobson is correct. You get three bonuses on the comic book writer Gail Simone. In 2002, Simone began a six-issue run writing which Marvel superhero? Notably, she reintroduced the character's distinctive fourth wall breaking through text in little yellow boxes. Deadpool. Deadpool is correct, Wade Wilson. In 2003, Simone took over which series for DC Comics centering on an all-female superhero team Founded by Black Canary and Batgirl. I need the team's three-word name, which is the subtitle of a 2020 DC film. Oh, yeah, this is... <sighs> nominate me, I think I know it. Um, nominate Donnelly. Is it Birds of Prey? It is Birds of Prey, yes. 
Simone's first arc for which DC superhero sees the character battling a group of Amazons who see her creation by Hippolyta as blasphemous? Probably Wonder Woman. That's Wonder Woman. Yeah, yeah. Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman is correct. Well done. <laughs> Ten points for this. Obtained from trees of the genus Corylus, what nut is known in French as noisette and in Spanish as avellana? It is often used in baking and confectionery. Ah. Queen's Donnelly. Is this hazelnuts? It is hazelnuts, yes. <laughs> right, these bonuses are on politicians. What surname is shared by the man who became Foreign Secretary in 1924 and his younger half-brother, who had become Chancellor of the Exchequer in the previous year? Chamberlain, I think. Chamberlain. Chamberlain. Chamberlain, Chamberlain is correct. What surname is shared by a Foreign Secretary under both Campbell Bannerman and Asquith and his distant relative, who was Prime Minister during the 1830s? 1830s? Um, no. 1830s, could that be like Peel? Or... Peel? Uh, yeah, yeah, it could be. Peel? No, it's Grey. What surname is shared by the Foreign Secretary between 1966 and 1968 and a later Prime Minister from the same political party? Um, no. This is probably Conservative then, isn't it? I think so. Um, I don't know, yeah, I guess a Prime Minister later. Heath? Should we go for Heath? Yeah. Heath? Yeah. Heath? No, it's not. It's Brown. We're going to take a picture around now. For your picture starter, you'll see a painting by a French artist. For ten points, give me the artist's name. Bristol Richardson. Monet. No, anybody else want a buzz? Queen's Campbell. Mane. No, it's Pissarro. So we're going to take the picture bonuses in a moment or two, and in the meantime, here's another starter question. The Highland regions Alpha and Beta Reggio and the mountain Maxwell Mons uh, are among... Queen Sherry. Mars. No, I'm afraid you lose five points. Only a small number of features on the surface of which planet not to be named after female figures? Bristol Keeler. Venus. Venus is correct. Well done. <laughs> so you get the picture bonuses. We follow on from Pizarro's view of Lordship Lane Station in Dulwich with three more paintings of local and rural rail. Name the artist in each case. Firstly, this US artist. Oh. Maybe um, Hopper? Yeah, it looks a bit like Hopper's, um, like, House by the Rail thing. Yeah. Which I'd probably go... go... Come on, let's have Hopper. it. Hopper. Hopper. Yeah. Hopper? Hopper is correct. And secondly, this French artist. Uh, oh, I was going to say. That looks so familiar. De Chirico, but he's not French. No, he's Italian slash Greek. Um, uh, like Legere, maybe? I don't know. Oh, can I nominate you? Yeah, go ahead. Nominate McLaughlin? Legere? No, it's Jean Metzinger. Uh, and finally, another French artist. Oh, that's impressionist, right? Mm, maybe, yeah, Monet, maybe. Yeah, uh, Renoir. Oh. Mm. I like Monet. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. Monet. Monet is correct. Well done. <laughs> Ten points for this. Concerning the economic problem of externalities, what eponymous theorem is suggested in the 1960 paper The Problem of Social Cost? It is named after a London-born Nobel laureate. Queen's Campbell. Uh, Hayek. No, anybody else want a buzz? Bristol McLaughlin. Coase. Correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on the sciences. The answers are all five-letter terms that are spelled with an identical pattern of vowels. Identify each one from the definition. Firstly, a device used in an electronic circuit that consists of two electrodes, such that the flow of current occurs in one direction only. Yes. I'm pretty sure it's diode. Yeah. That would make sense for, like, the pattern of vowels. Thing. Is it all going to be I-O? I guess so. Yeah. Diode. Diode is correct. The fourth largest moon of Saturn, secondly, discovered by Cassini in 1684 and named after one of the titans in Greek mythology. So it's going to have Io, right? So it's not Iapetus Enceladus. Uh... Is it? No, hang on. The fourth largest... Oh, no. Moon of Saturn. Yeah, OK, I was thinking Jupiter. I don't know. I Iapetus, Tethys, is that...? Come on, let's have it, please. Okay. Okay. I Iapetus. It's Dione. Uh... And finally, a catch-all term for the community of animals and plants living in a particular climatic Biome? region. Yeah. Is that right? That's Biome. Biome. Yeah. Biome. Biome is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. In 1904, which German mathematician and logician 
formulated the axiom of choice, along with Abraham Frankel. Russell Ortega. Zerma? No, I'm afraid you lose five points. Queens, you can hear the rest of it. He gives his name to a system of set theory. Queen Sherry. Uh, Frager. No, it's Zermelo. Another starter question. The 5th century Indian mathematician Arya Bhatt is credited with developing the first table of what trigonometric function? The current term for the function comes from the Latin word for curve. Queen's Campbell. Cosine. No, anyone want to buzz from Bristol? Bristol McLachlan. Sign. Sign is correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on archaeological cultures. Noted for its terracotta figurines, the Nok culture takes its name from a village in Kaduna State in which West African country? I've heard of Nok culture. West African, did they say? West African, yeah. It might be Gabon or something. Yeah. Cool. Or Let's like have it, please. Yeah, okay. Uh, say Gabon. Gabon. No, it's Nigeria. Uh. Thought to date from the early Iron Age, the Este or Atestine culture takes its name from settlements in the north of which Mediterranean country? Um, I've got I nothing to realise, but do you think it's going to be Maybe. North Africa? Yeah, it could be like Europe. Tunisia. I'm, I don't know. Algeria? Algeria. No, I like, come on, let's have it. Please. Tunisia. I like Tunisia. One. Tunisia. No, it's Italy. Uh. The pre Columbian Chavine culture. Flourished during the first millennium BCE. It takes its name from a ruined temple complex in which Andean country? Andean country. Peru, um, Peru or Bolivia? No. Yeah. I go, I come on. Yeah, Peru. say Peru. Peru. Peru is correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> the crowd's tables, Blavan, the Store, and Quirain are among notable hills on which Scottish island? Uh, Queen's Donnelly. Sky. Sky is correct. Well done. <laughs> Your bonuses are on lay descriptions of legal terms as provided by the website of the Law Society. Identify each term described. All three begin with the same letter. Firstly, the process involved in buying, selling or remortgaging a property to transfer its legal title from one person to another. Is... Excuse Right. Like, part of me is thinking, like, letting or tours? Yeah. Letting, yeah, yeah. Right. letting. No, it's conveyancing. Oh. Second, personal belongings that can be moved from one place to another. That's something with other secrets. Conveyance, is that Conveyance. something? Conveyance. But what is that? Yeah. What are we going with? I, I don't even know if it's a legal thing. Uh, I'm going to nominate. Nominate, Duffy. Uh, conveyance? No, we just had conveyancing. It's chattels. Finally, a collection of independent self-employed barristers who share employed clerks to administer work. I think, I think that's it. This is Chambers. Chambers, yeah, Chambers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is Chambers. Chambers. Chambers is correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> and at the wrong... Queen's University, Belfast have 90, but Bristol University have 205. Well, bad luck, Queen's. We're going to say goodbye to you, I'm afraid. But uh, thank you very much for joining us. Bristol, congratulations to you. 205 is a great score. And we'll look forward to seeing you in the next stage of the competition. I hope you can join us next time for another second round match. But until then, it's goodbye from Queen's University, Belfast. Goodbye. Bye. It's goodbye from Bristol University. Goodbye. Bye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs>